Hi lovelies, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a high quality, transparent, multi-purpose liquid soap for home use or for business. This particular method is so, so easy, especially for business. This soap can be used for laundry, for dishes, in fact, for general cleaning in the home and it lathers so much. And guess what? It's so, so economical and cheap to produce. Let me show you how to go about it. You need to wear protective gloves because some of these chemicals are in their active form. And in this bowl, we have 20 liters of water. And this is a one liter cup. So we are going to take out four liters of water and transfer into the smaller bowl. So we are producing 20 liters of multipurpose liquid soap. And we are to share our water into two. 16 liters in the main production bowl and 4 liters in a smaller bowl. And into the 4 liters, we add in 125 grams of SLS. SLS stands for sodium lauryl sulfate. And it actually looks like rice grains. We equally go in with our texapon, which is 250 grams, into that same 4 liters of water. Texapon looks like a gel. And lastly, into the 4 liters of water, we add in our STPP 50 grams. STPP stands for sodium tripolyphosphate. It's equally a cleaning agent and it helps your soap to lather in both cold or hot or boiled water. So we proceed to stir these three ingredients together in 4 liters of water. If it's your first time stopping by here, you are most welcome. Hit the subscribe button to join this amazing family because there is a lot to learn here. So at this point, let us proceed to the main production bowl. Into our 16 liters of water, we will add in 125 grams of natrosol. Natrosol is the thickener. This is what actually gives that thick jelly-like consistency to liquid soap. So we add that in and we stir to dissolve. Please, please give this video a like. That is so, so important to me. It will help YouTube to push this video to the right people. Thank you. So we stir in the natrosol for about two minutes. It doesn't take time to dissolve. Then we proceed to add in soda ash. We add in 250 grams of soda ash. Guys, this liquid soap is so easy to make. And you can easily get all these chemicals in your local markets, even in the villages. Just ask questions around and you will be directed to where these chemicals are sold. And guess what? They are so, so affordable. So we stir in our soda ash. Can you imagine I spent just about 5,000 francs to get all these chemicals? Yes, and we are going to have up to 20 liters of high quality multipurpose liquid soap. So as you stir in the soda ash into the natrosol, you will discover that the mixture begins to thicken up. And once that is done, proceed to add in 50 grams of caustic soda. Caustic soda is very corrosive and it's our main cleaning agent. We add in just 50 grams. If you add in more than that, the soap will become so harsh on your hands when you are using it. So for a 20 liter production, 50 grams of caustic soda is just enough so that our soap will be very effective yet not harsh on the skin. So as you stir in the caustic soda, you realize that it begins to thicken up even more and becomes heavier just know you are on the right track just keep stirring please give this video a like if you haven't done so yet that is so so important to me and it's absolutely free of charge please please hit the like button thank you so we go back to stir on our ingredients in the four liters of water sls actually takes a long time to dissolve reason you need to start with it so finally it's dissolved and you can see that from the foam on top. So we begin to add the four liters into the 16 liters bit by bit. Ensure you add this bit by bit. Please pay attention at this moment. If you pour in all at once, your soap might form lumps. So you add in bit by bit and you stir. You know, SLS and uh, Texapon are our main foaming agents. And there is still another to come. Therefore, we have three forming agents 
for this liquid soap. Reason our soap is so so qualitative. As you add in and stir, it begins to thicken up even more and it begins to lather or foam at the top. Just keep stirring. So at this point, I added in the last batch. I actually added that four liters in about seven or eight times. If you follow these rules keenly, you are going to have an amazing production and you are going to be happy with your production. So we come in with our last foaming agent, which is sulfonic acid. This is equally a foaming agent as well as a cleaning agent. So caustic soda is a cleaning agent. STPP is a cleaning agent and sulfonic acid as well is another cleaning agent. Can you imagine the quality of this liquid soap? As you stir in the sulfonic acid, the foam is going to intensify. It's going to lather so badly as you can see. But never mind, we are going to set aside our soap for 24 hours before use. Look at the texture at this point. It's so, so thick and transparent. Can you see that? Can you see our production? We are not done yet. At this point, we added our foam booster, which is another foaming agent. So after adding in, we proceed to stir that in for a while, just about 15 to 20 seconds. And then we proceed to add in our fragrance. Add in any fragrance of your choice. This is actually optional, but very, very necessary. Always add in a mild fragrance so that you will comfortably use your liquid soap to do your dishes. If you are producing this soap for sale, at this point, add in some preservative. I won't be adding in preservative into this soap because it will be used within a month. But for business, since you don't know how long you take to sell, always add in your preservative. So the last but not the least is our color. I actually demanded for orange color, but I was mistakenly given the red color. Never mind, it was still beautiful. So add in your color bit by bit, or better still, dissolve in water before adding. And add in just a little because once the soap settles down and all the foam disappears, that is when the color pops out. So if you add in too much, you might not like the color. So as you stir in your color, we are already good to go. It's just left for us to cover the soap for 24 hours. Ensure you cover the soap for 24 hours because the chemicals are still in their active form. And after 24 hours, they will become so mild that you can use with your bare hands. Take a look at our production. See how thick and foamy it is. So at this point, we we'll just preserve this at home for the next 24 hours. And after 24 hours, this is what we have. Like I told you before, the color pops out when the foam settles. Like I said before, I actually asked for orange color. This is my first time of producing red liquid soap. And it's actually equally so beautiful. So at this moment, you can go ahead to transfer into your bottles if it's for sale. You transfer into half and one liter bottles, even 1.5 liter bottles. So let us go ahead to test and see if our soap actually lathers. So this is a bowl of water. And let me just take a little amount, just a little amount. That is the quantity we are to test. Let's see how it behaves in water. Oh my God. Just the little quantity and it's able to lather in this quantity of water meaning our soap is a high quality soap let me show you how i use this soap for laundry look at the quantity i added in a heap of dresses guess what guys this soap is actually so perfect for laundry just see how it lathers guys this multi-purpose liquid soap is a must-have for all households